All right, so what's up guys? Pedro here back with another video. Today, we have the best and cheesiest rhythm dribbles in NBA 2K17. Rhythm dribbles are the best dribble moves to speed boost off of. They're very effective, and I'm gonna be showing you guys for today for very good ones uh some of them are very popular and i'm going to be showing you guys how to use them and this will really help you in park so make sure you guys smash that like button down below so you can hit 500 likes and if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe for more daily nba 2 guys 17 content let's get right into it so the first rhythm dribble i have today is a very popular one especially at the beginning of the year in my courts glitching it is elite seven now i used to use this at the beginning of the year i switched it up and these aren't in any particular order you're gonna see the one i use uh, later but let me show you guys how effective this one is so uh, a lot of the speed boosts a lot of the rhythm dribbles uh, go to the opposite side so say i started right here uh, with the ball in my right hand some of the rhythm dribbles will make you just cross over and speed boost to the left side but the thing i like about this it will kind of throw people off you go to the same side you can see uh you go to the same side i started the ball on the right i speed boost to the right uh, i can go this way too and it's very good for getting to the basket especially if you're playing twos uh going around the screen it's very simple it was very popular at the beginning of the year people started to pick up some other rhythm dribbles but i still see some people do this and it will throw people off if they're used to people speed boosting to the opposite side that's the first one elite seven the second one i have and wrong thing this is actually normal three and let me show you guys this one this one is extremely effective uh, this one can actually go two different ways. That's what throws people off. You can speed boost two different ways off of it. In case you didn't already know to do a rhythm dribble, just flick your right stick up uh, on whatever console you're on. It'll play this whole animation out, but what you want to do is speed boost off of a certain part of it, usually one of the first two dribble moves. So for this, you can either do the first one, so you can see I'm speed boosting to the same side, just like Elite 7, but I can also speed boost to the opposite side. If I just wait for the animation to play out, I can speed boost to the opposite side. That's extremely effective. I really like that about Normal 3. I honestly don't see a lot of people use this in part. I don't know why maybe nobody's really found out about this, but it's extremely effective. You can go both ways with it. Uh, you have a versatile speed boost. You can go around screens, just ISO whatever it will be getting your defender the next dribble move or the next rhythm dribble that we have this is pretty popular i know some people that use this this is elite one now the thing with elite one is that it's especially good for speed boosting sharpshooters now the reason why is you can see with the other speed boosts you're kind of going towards the basket a little bit like you're obviously moving from side to side but within that you're moving kind of towards the basket you're not moving directly sideways now with elite one uh, two good things about this first it's also like normal three you can go either way with it so you can see i can speed boost this way i can speed boost the same direction as i have the ball in or i can wait for the animation to play out i can speed boost the other direction and that's also very effective uh, i kind of like the animation where you cross over like this a little bit better than normal three but you can see when i speed boost it's more to the side you can see i'm more going along the three-point arc and this is why it's really good for speed boosting sharpshooters because you're going to be looking for a three you can do this around the screen you're going to be getting a good open shot with some other rhythm dribbles you might end up trying like i tried to go other there you can tell that wasn't that natural but they will make you go more to the elbow uh, maybe if you're looking for a mid-range jump shot with a playmaker something like that but the thing with this is that you'll go more towards the three-point line uh, very good for speed boosting sharpshooters but you can also try it with pretty much any archetype the last rhythm dribble that we have is one that i like to use personally that is actually normal five now the thing with normal five is that it's unlike any of the other ones i've shown you so uh with all the ones i showed you the first dribble in the whole animation makes you go to the same ball hand so if i had the ball on my right the first dribble will be with the right hand and won't be crossing over now the thing with normal five is that it goes to the opposite first so you can see i'm going to the opposite it's going like behind the back and it's going opposite. So if I had the ball on my left, it'll automatically switch it to the right. That's the first dribble in the animation. And this is just very effective. I like this. It's a quick speed boost to the opposite side. And no, I don't want to do... Oh my gosh. We can also wait for the animation to play out. You can actually go to the opposite side too. So you can see it's different from the ones I showed you. I really like using this myself. Now the thing I also like about it is that you can combo it with other things. I like to use the Kobe size up with it. If you want to know how to do that, it's going to be in my ultimate dribble tutorial. But these are just some rhythm dribbles I like to use that are very effective in park and i would highly recommend using them yourself uh, it'll be a great way just to speed boost around other defenders you can combo it with other things it's very simple so if you're like a beginner at dribbling or just making a new player 
uh, this will really be a good start. Because if you know what you're doing, all you really have to do if you're playing against like mediocre average people, is just do this around a screen. You can even do an ISO. Uh, they'll fall for it a lot of the time and that's a good place to start. But regardless, rhythm dribbles are extremely good for speed boosting. So thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure you guys smash that like button down below so we can hit 500 likes. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey!